Alrighty y'all, the trussle back with Gwinnett lines and beautiful. Well, almost completely blue sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is November the 19th, 2022. And on today's video, we're going to be taking the five by eight carry on trailer. And we're gonna be putting some four foot sides, both sides here and in the front to make this a little more useful to not just do lawn equipment, but you can do hauling of just about anything. So what I did was I already painted both sides of this. I just have this um, resting there for now. I used a good primer on all the surfaces and then I used the Rust-Oleum. Let me show you what, if you're gonna do this, I used the Rust-Oleum oil-based protective enamel. This stuff is phenomenal. I am using, say hello Ginger. I am using non um, pressure treated wood. Ginger, come here. Non pressure treated wood because I want lightness. And this is the same thing I made on the headache rack with non pressure treated. And if you seal it properly, this will never rot. So that's the, uh, that's the general gist. So the first thing I need to do is I need to remove this spare tire from here and I'm probably going to put it uh, maybe on the, the bar there. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is, because there is a gap here between the top of this piece of wood and uh, the bottom of the frame, and there is no gap over here, I'm going to have to cut a few shims to place in there so that this panel will be the correct height and match the height of the other side. All right, I got a temporary strip here. It's kind of the way it's gonna look. I'm going to measure the distance there. Yeah. Alright, so I'm using these clamps. These are uh, panel or right angle clamps. All right, so I'm in the process of just taking these little corner brackets right here and just putting them in here temporarily. All right, so I am using some two inch, these are like exterior deck screws. And I have my two by four right here. And I'm going to attach this from the outside. So I'm going to use my cargo, I don't know what you call this, cargo uh, holder by using the pickup truck and just uh, push this up against like that. Now, we'll remove our temporary holding bracket. Now I can just slide this out. And the 
two panels should stay. Hopefully. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with painting. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, paint on both sides and get that going. All right, so it is the next afternoon and I've got this front board all painted and it's dried. So let's see if I can do this without any drama. So I'm going to temporarily put on the corner brackets that we did before in a couple of areas. I may leave them on, I may not, I don't know. Um, but I need to get these, get this piece stabilized with the sides so that I can go ahead and put on the, uh, the inner corner pieces to the front. take this piece of wood and put it right there. So what I did inside here was I put some, I had some two inch brackets. I put one at the top there and one at the bottom. And I did the same on both sides to give it, uh, this is very rigid. So the next thing I'm gonna do is we need to take the, uh, kind of the flex out of this. So I've got two more four foot two by fours I'm gonna paint and then we will attached to here and then it's right there all right so let me show you guys what i've done very briefly i used some self-tapping screws or bolts screws and just put them along those three along there this is just what i had available they're uh number 12 one and a half inch and of course i use fender washers and that went into the channel here. I also went ahead and installed the two by fours here. Boy, this, I hope this comes out. It's really, doesn't look good on the camera. You can even see, but anyway, I went ahead and put the, uh, the two by fours here. Now the reason that I offset this one length over is because I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna bolt this and it would have been in the way of this right here. So I'm going to do that and I'm gonna bolt that to the frame and I'm gonna bolt that side to the frame. This will, it'll take up a little bit of this, a little bit of this wobbly. And then I just have these boards sitting here. Um, these will be held on with uh, T brackets, which I'll show you. We'll put one there. We'll put one right here. And then on the other side. And then I'll cut the other board that I have right here. So, this serves two purposes. Number one, it protects the top of the plywood and it also will give a little bit of rigidity. There's always going to be a little bit of flex here unless I want to put another... I wanted to keep this open and clear. I know I've seen some people, they put a stringer along here and bolted it to both and then they put one here. I don't want it to look like a, a farm door. I would rather have that here because this is a great place to have a nice custom sign made, like out of aluminum. 
they can have it on both sides so anyway let's uh let's get started i had to buy a brand new let me tell you what boy these things are expensive a brand new drill bit um all these parts i got from home depot so these right here these milwaukee cobalt uh, drill bits the red helix are very expensive they're like 18 bucks i didn't even have i've broken all my 3 8 drill bits from drilling out suspension parts um these are super good they're awesome the problem is you got to be careful because they can be brittle okay they're very they'll go through hard stainless steel and all that you just have to make sure not to have a lot of side load on them so um all right well let's get going okay so we'll get our three eight inch bolt fender washer So the next thing we need to work on is attaching these top posts here. Okay. All right, so I've got the piece of wood cut and I painted the end over there. Got our T brackets installed. So that piece of wood will go here. I've got to get four more brackets. I'm going to have one T bracket here, one coming down there, and then one on the plate or the top just to pull this down just a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm going to do the final clip here of the trailer build. It's taken me several weeks to, uh, to get this done. And thank you for hanging with me. If you have gotten this far, so I <clears throat> added these uh, T-braces here because I had some flex um, longitudinally. So there's one there, there's one on this corner. I've still got these corner braces here. I mounted my spare tire here. Uh, just mounted it through which I'll show you inside and it was originally mounted here. I made this really cool Off-road trailer dolly right here. Well, I, I didn't I modified it. I modified a regular Hallmaster uh, They had the normal six inch wheel that went in there and it's got a uh, nice t-handle that I made Or I didn't make it. Yeah, I kind of made it Anyway, that's how I push and pull the dolly around, and it will roll over this grass, it will roll over dirt, uneven concrete, you name it. That's a thousand times better than that little hard rubber wheel. Of course, I got the corner braces here. I put a T bracket here and here, so this is really stable now. I mounted these uh, two by fours so that it would protect the top of this and it gives it some rigidity of course i got the banner and let's let me open the um gate right here all right so i I, I have this post here and here screwed into the angle iron of the trailer. That gives us some nice stability here. And I took some self-tapping screws and put a couple of them in, three of them to be exact, in, and that goes into the frame as well. And then of course I have I used some uh, braces here, and these are the 
braces I used on the inside. And this is very, this does not flex one bit. It's very strong. And then here's the uh, other side of the plate. These bottom bolts right here go through the angle iron and this just goes through the plywood. So that is four feet by eight feet. I think it turned out really nice. So why did I do this? To be honest, I don't know. Just because I wanted to, I guess. Do I have a specific use for this? No, it's just a backup trailer in case my truck goes down. Uh, when I originally did this, somebody made a comment on one of my videos about, I don't remember who it was, I don't remember which video it was, it was about the comment about uh, doing leafs or something, and he's like, well, you, you've got tools and you got the skills, so why don't you just build something? And maybe he was referring to doing it like a leaf box. This is not really set up to do a leaf box, although I could. Um, I would just have to seal this portion off here. Yeah, maybe put some plywood here. I have plenty of room to uh, plenty of room to do that. I do have a. I went to Harbor Freight and got me a gigantic tarp. This is a 18 by 24 tarp. So if I want to use this for debris or leaves or whatever. I'll be able to put the tarp in there and drape it over the sides on all four corners. It's bigger than the footprint of the trailer and the sides. And hopefully we'll be able to pull the, let's say if it was leaves. And I've got these. All right, so I'll hook these to the eyelets because how many times have you been pulling leaves with your hands? Work smarter, not harder. So these are actually for weightlifters. Um, you would use these on like a cable curl machine. They're extremely strong. You'll just click these into the eyelets and then uh, and just pull it that way. So if I ever do a big leaf cleanup with a tarp or something, I'll show you. Um, but what I really, I'm just really uh, glad this is done. I really am. So what's next? The only thing that I have left to do is I need to do a mount on the front of the trailer for my T-handle for my little tow dolly. If you want to see how I did the tow dolly, I'm going to have a video that's going to come out right after this one. And it'll show you exactly how to build the tow dolly with parts from Home Depot. It's very easy. And this is the regular 6 inch hard wheel that comes with almost all tow dollies. And you don't have to build something extra. Um, well, I'm sorry, not a tow dolly. It comes with the uh, trailer jack. And you don't have to, because I was thinking about building a trailer dolly to move the trailer around, because it's heavy now. Because I don't want to be lifting it up. And I was, I, I didn't, that idea is not, uh, somebody on YouTube did it. I don't, I don't even know who it was. Um, I modified it a little bit. I used bigger wheels. But that video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's very easy. And man, there's no way that the trailer would really even be able to, with that hard wheel, be able to go over this lip. And I even roll it all over the grass to show you. And that grass right now is really soft because of the rain. So the only thing that I'm thinking about doing, because I just can't leave stuff alone, I want to keep modifying it, is that if I want to take a mower and use this as a leaf, this is only a five by eight trailer, and use it as a leaf cleanup, um, I was thinking about taking a piece of plywood and making an adjustable wall. All right, so it'll go all the way across, and then I'll use my, I'll use two of those cargo holders through these one at the top one at the bottom and I would be able to have as little or as much room well provided the mower whatever's in front of the mower 
I would probably, if I was going to do that, I'd probably use my Honda with the bagger. And I wouldn't need, it wouldn't need very much space back here. And I could fill all that up and I could adjust the wall um, to put as little or as much brush as I needed. So that would probably work better on a really, you know, a lot bigger trailer. But I'm very pleased with how this came out. I probably spent about, I don't know, 250 bucks on all the, the wood and the hardware and painting it and all that. So, uh, including the, the wheels, those wheels, those things were cheap. They were. So anyway, that's, um, that's what it is. And I, I, I wanted to use this as a kind of, you know, advertising piece. So I, uh, went online and designed this banner and it's very similar to, uh, to my sign. Well, it's almost the exact same as the sign. It's just a, it's just a bigger version, and I'm very pleased at how well it came out. And I've got this uh, screwed in with just fender washers and wood screws. I'm not sure about this. I'm afraid this may end up tearing itself. So what I was thinking about doing is taking like a little uh, piece of trim, like a one by one by two, and putting it here so that the uh, air can't get under it. And of course, paint it black and then screw it in, screw the piece of trim into this uh, with some longer screws. But, and that could do it there and I could also do it at the here and it would just kind of give it a, a more finished appearance. But I am a little worried about air buffeting through here because it's gonna and it may rip this. This is pretty, this is very heavy duty, but still, anyway. Um, I was really concerned about the spare tire and didn't really consider putting it because I like having it right there, but there's no way that this wheel would, or the trailer jack would be able to, to go up. So I, I actually like it better here. And this I'm going to mount, I'm going to mount it somehow right there. So it'll always be with the trailer. So. Yeah, little five by eight trailer. I would like to build a, another one, but I don't have a place to keep that, a, a really big trailer. So I do have a place to keep that. So anyway, I am glad that this video is finally gonna be uh, over. I don't like having stuff hanging undone for a while. Um, if you got any questions about this, if you've got a similar trailer build, if you have some suggestions maybe I didn't think about, um, please put it down in the comments. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys on the next video.